Hey guys, uh, this morning I just pulled out a few F-head engines from the front barn. I just got one of them on a stand. This one's been sitting for probably 20 years. But uh, I think you can see that. It's still nice and free. Crank is turning. I can feel some compression in there, so hopefully this won't be too bad a rebuild. Um, I have decided to switch gears on the snowblower Jeep because uh, I thought I had all the information I could find on that. But a friend of mine sent me some paperwork the other day and they did use, instead of the Wisconsin, or in addition to the Wisconsin, they used a uh, F-head engine. So you had an F-head engine uh, driving the Jeep and you had another one powering the snowblower. And I much prefer a Willys engine to a Wisconsin. So I am going to take a few of them apart. We're going to do an F-head rebuild series. Um, yeah, it might not be one right after the other, but as I get moving on these F-heads, I'm going to show you the tear down and rebuild of them. And then we'll hook a clutch to this one, a Rockford clutch, make a skid for it, and slip it in the back of the snowblower Jeep. So I've got this one on a stand. I've got to get another one, bell housing torn off it, clutch torn off it. And uh, we'll keep moving on from there. So this one's going to go down, and the other one's going to come out. Okay, here's our second F-head that we're going to rebuild. Uh, I'm probably going to do three of them. I've got one more. I'm going to take that one out of that welder CJ3B and do that one as well. So we're going to do three F-head rebuilds at once. Uh, this one has a little bit of a weird pulley on the front. It, it was driving something at one time. Uh, the bell housing, the starter is still on it. So I'm going to strip this one down so I can get it on a stand. And the other one is still in the Jeep, so the uh, weather's kind of crappy, but uh, I'll get that one out and we'll do all three at once. So uh, I'll get this one torn down and show you what it looks like on the stand. Let's see what we got. Yeah, looking good. Okay. It's recording. It's going. You good? Yeah, it's recording. Okay, we got two F-heads here on the stands now. This one has governor linkage on it, so I know there's a governor on this at one point. It's got this weird front pulley on it. And you can, if you can see, there's the outline of something that this front pulley was driving. Uh, when I got the engine, it was just in a Jeep and it didn't, uh, all that stuff was already removed. But like I say, there's, there is governor linkage on it, but the governor's missing. Uh, this is what, can you zoom in on that, Gary? Yeah. That's what a pulley normally looks like on these guys. Uh, somebody's been on that nut with a chisel and stuff. Uh, that's a normal pulley. And this one is a special pulley. Again, I don't know what it was driving, but it was driving something. Both motors are free. They turn over nicely. Uh, they're not stuck in any way. And there's one more that I want to get on a stand. But like I said, the, the, the weather is not really good for that. So um, I'm going to start taking these apart. Uh, we'll carefully dissect these and see what they look like inside. And hopefully, um, I can't find a machine shop just yet that is going to let me film the machining of uh, the engine parts. Uh, I'm trying a new place. and Maybe they'll let me bring the camera in there and film it. I don't know. Um, I'd like to bring a whole rebuild series to you guys but um, depends on the machine shop that's going to do the actual uh, crank grinding and boring and stuff like that um, but I will show you the tear down and just a quick video today to show you what I'm up to uh, I've got some other things going on uh, I've got to finish up those axles and the transmissions and, and take care of all that stuff over there but um, little by little I'm going to be bringing you videos on the tear down and proper rebuild of an F head so Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.